Okay, so here I have an example gesture pad class for Gidros Mobile SDK. Um, this is based on a gesture sample that was written by a chap called Arthur Souza. Um, now he'd uh, implemented the uh, protractor algorithm to um, recognize single stroke gestures. Now I've gone and extended that to the so called N protractor algorithm to recognize multi stroke gestures um, where the strokes are in, in any order. Now, uh, let me just demonstrate that. I've trained this so far to uh, recognize lowercase letters. So let's try it with a, a lowercase a. Okay, uh, lowercase b. Now these two are single stroke, so nothing particularly complicated there. Uh, but let's try, for example, a lowercase t, two strokes. And that was recognized. And also I can recognize that I could uh, do the strokes in a different order. Do the cross stroke first. Uh, or I could do the strokes backwards, and those are still recognized. Uh, some other multi-stroke letters are, for example, X and uh, Y. Oh, I didn't recognize that, sorry. Okay, um, and also you can do them at any size. It's part of the protractor algorithm to allow you to do things at different sizes. So, for example, will be recognized the same. Uh, let's go and train a new shape. Let's uh, train a house, for example. Uh, I'll draw a house as a rectangle, followed by a roof. If we now go back out of learning mode to recognition mode, I can draw that same shape. Some approximation of it. You can see that was recognized correctly. Now let me just draw the roof first, followed by the bottom. I got that, and indeed I could draw the items backwards. Okay, so that's a sort of demonstration of uh, the different features that are available with this uh, multi-stroke recognition component. Um, I'm using it in a, in a few uh, of my apps, which uh, I'm using as a rather useful UI component. Uh, I hope that's been interesting, and thanks for watching.